Let's say if you are a leader who recently hired a new staff to help you do all the administrative tasks. But after months of observation, you found that he did a very bad job, which leads to a lot of complaints from different departments. Therefore, you may felt that this person is a big constraint to you. In the end, you may be asking yourself, is it because he's not the right person in the right job? Or is it because he's not skilled in doing all these administrative tasks? Now, if you take a step back, you will notice that all these things are just questions to address the symptoms of the constraints that are holding you back. In fact, 90% of the real culprit is the hidden constraint that we didn't realize, not the people who work within it. So based on my own perspective, I believe that the only way to solve the problem efficiently is to identify what is the real constraint. For example, you may consider thinking that is it necessary to do all these administrative tasks in the first place? Or maybe can you automate some of the administrative tasks using systems and tools to help your staff manage these tasks better? Or do you need to tighten your hiring criteria so that you can ensure that you are hiring the right person for the right job? So I hope this helps to broaden your thinking and also provide you with a new perspective in problem solving. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.